What's going on everyone? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today we're going to talk about a new comic coming from a new publisher um, that is very much worth checking out, especially if you're passionate about animals and animal rights. Um, we received a very pleasant email from Sigma Comics offering a complimentary com uh, co a copy of this comic here, Here Comes Calico. Uh, this is the first issue from them, their first uh, title, their first character that they've announced. Um, and like I said, the first series that they've announced. So um, just right, right, out, right out front, I'm going to let you know, if you go to their website, sigmacomics.com, you can actually um, order a physical copy, order a digital copy, both, if that's what you're interested in. Um, so check out their website for more information about that. Like I said, uh, this is a comic publisher that is focused on animal rights and animal abuse and uh, making sure that that happens as little as possible in the world we live in. Uh, moving into 2021 and onwards, which is a great cause. Um, I will also say up front that this is a mature comic. It's definitely for 18 plus um, readers. Now, before we get into Calico, quickly want to say this, subscribe if you haven't already. We do have a Patreon as well where we do hardcover comic giveaways. Pretty much every dollar we get, we give away at the end of every month in a drawing um, where one lucky winner gets an omnibus, a new absolute edition, multiple deluxe editions, some sort of hardcover comic or set of hardcover comics. If you're interested in that, there's a link down in the description below. We also give you early access to these videos and we give away Mar Marvel digital comic codes whenever we get them. Now. Let's take a closer look at Here Comes Calico. So this first issue and this entire series um, is written by H.H. H. German with artwork by Javier Orbish. Um, I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not, but it's not my fault. Um, please check out their website to get the correct spelling. It will also be down in the description below. Either way, um, you're looking at some of the artwork and the comic itself here. Uh, so this story is sort of a, it's an animal rights story at the end of the day. It's what, sort of what it revolves around. Um, and you have this character, Calico, that receives a call from this character named Dog Mama um, being told about basically these terrible people that are dealing with poaching. Um, what's great about this issue as a number one is you get a full story within this issue. You get a plot from start to finish. You get to follow our our main character as he deals with the um, the villain, uh, as it were, of this issue. You also do get some really interesting flashbacks into his past as a child in the Dominican Republic. Um, and you also get to see him and how he unwinds now his meditation, his thought process, as he goes through his life on a day-to-day -day basis. We get to see a little scene at a boxing gym, which is great, um, as he breaks down sort of his boxing technique and training, um, which is good for someone who may even be interested in boxing. You get a little training regimen right there, right in a comic book, spelled, spelled out for you in a couple pages. It's awesome. Um, the artwork itself uh, is is good. I, I enjoyed it. It definitely reminds me of a Punisher style of, of artwork, obviously with the gratuitous violence um, and the overall style of the character, a very John Wick style, Punisher style character, um, essentially taking out people that are doing uh, injustices towards other living animals, um, in this case, poachers. And that's essentially what the character revolves around. I'm really curious to find out more. Um, you do get little bits and pieces of this in the first issue, but I'd love to find out more about his history as a character, and I'm sure we will. He's got this suit that is millions of dollars of technology, this this artificial um, sphere that follows him around named Bumble that has incredible technology within it. So I'm very curious to find out about his training, about how this technology came to be, who Dog Mama is, um, all these various things that were sort of peppered in within the first issue that I imagine will be explained within this eight issue arc that I'm very excited to find out about. Overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a very, uh, very dark issue. You know, it's a very dark subject that's being discussed. Um, and our character, the main character takes some very dark actions as a result. Um, he definitely is a knight of vengeance when it comes to animal abuse. So if that's a topic you're very passionate about, you will definitely get upset reading this. Um, I felt my blood boiling as I was reading this and seeing some of the things that I saw, um, but I really did enjoy it. I really did enjoy it. It sort of felt like um, less of a, a commercial comic and it felt more personalized. It felt like there was a lot of heart within the comic itself. Um, and for that reason, I can't help but recommend it. Um, you know, I love animals. I hate animal abuse. I despise it. And um, I definitely can empathize with a character like Calico. And I'm sure most rational people can. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, supporting a smaller publisher who's trying to 
um, you know, create comics with a good with a good intention and a good message. And it's a great title, uh, highly recommended. Again, for mature readers only, check out SigmaComics.com for more information on the title, on the company, on the characters, and the people involved in the product and the company as, as well. Um, I highly suggest checking it out. I love I love supporting smaller publishers and people trying to tell a story that they have a lot of passion and passionate about and it's very clear that the creators here are very passionate about the subject so if you're interested in that i'll leave obviously the link to the website down in the description below i've said it multiple times already um, so be sure to check it out if this sounds like it might be up your alley thank you all very much for tuning in this is mike from the hardcover comic subscribe check out our patreon hit us up for dust jacket designs thc merch things like that we appreciate you. We hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and sound. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.